John Wales here uh, today I'm going to do a little video on uh, one of the um, tools that I use that's built into Tube Buddy. I recently downloaded this because like a lot of people um, I've got a small channel as you can see I only have 308 subscribers uh, if I scroll down here I've only done 55 videos which is uh, probably one video uh, every two weeks which is simply not enough to grow your channel obviously I'm going to try and up my game a good bit if I can as you can see in the last 30 days I've uploaded three videos um, this one will be the fourth video that I've done in like the past 12 days so there's only one way to make your channel grow and that's to put more videos on and try and make your content something that people want to watch so what have I done I've gone to YouTube such as everyone does and I'm looking for um, all those videos that you see where they say grow your subscribers by a thousand in ten days and all this kind of rubbish right it's rubbish the only way to grow your channel is to put more videos out and to try and give content that people want to watch so one of the things that keeps coming up time and time again is tube buddy if you have never seen it or never used it just go into your search engine uh put in tube buddy where's it gone to there you go i just did that a little while ago you will get the main site and something like this page should open up for you it says i've already installed it uh, which i have done uh, i believe it gets installed on chrome and not necessarily into your computer files because when i've gone into um, install and uninstall i can't find it there to uninstall so i'm assuming it pretty much it's just in um, google chrome which is fine with me if you download it you might want to just run your security features over it just to check that there's no viruses in it but i don't believe there are coming back to the great thing about um, TubeBuddy is I'm using the free version because um, I'm Welsh and I don't like to spend money and I don't believe in any of these sites that say um, pay up front you get three months free or whatever but you've got to pay up front then you use the three months and then you cancel it um, at the end of your free trial you know to me a free trial is a free trial then if you like it then you pay for it so that being said let me just um, go into manage videos and I will actually show you the particular thing that I really like about TubeBuddy. Now here we are on my dashboard. Let me um, show you uh, monetization. I'm nowhere near uh, the requirement yet for monetization. You need a thousand subscribers uh, four thousand uh, hours of view time in order to qualify to join adsense so i'm aiming for that like everybody does if i can make a little bit of money out of it it'll be great at the moment here you see i've got my 308 subscribers it says a thousand required so i'm about a third of the way there but here if you have a look my watch time is two thousand hours plus that's jumped immensely over these past two or three months and um, the reason for that is I've been trying to do more videos. And the other thing I've used, I think TubeBuddy is helping me in this way. Let me go back onto my site, go back onto my channel, and then let me open up my videos. And let me show you what happens when you go into one of your videos. Let me find a video that's not, um, doesn't have a lot of views. Let me find something that's reasonably low-ish uh, there we go the YouTube update 2019 set your channel There's only 65 views on that one let me click on that I don't know if I've had a look at this when you reopen up one of your videos after having installed TubeBuddy you get this oh it's playing stop playing there we go you get this on the side which sort of um, gives you a quick breakdown of the video statistics uh, one of the great things here look it's got this SEO score and I'm not sure exactly what that stands for I think it's something like search engine uh, organizer or something like that but basically it's pretty important that there are some items that you need to fill in on your video let me click on the edit video of this uh, low viewing video that I've got with only 65 views so click on that edit video that one now open up as you've seen on your channel um, first thing where we got to 
title uh, YouTube update 2019 it's not a brilliant title uh, obviously that's why it didn't get very many views my description how to set your channel audience to comply with the new YouTube regulations if you are using Vista uh, new from 2019 okay ignore all that I'm gonna scroll down and then you have this bit here where it puts your tags in and this is where I only got a few tags in here now if you scroll on a little further after you have installed TubeBuddy what it does here look uh, it gives you some more suggestions three and these are free ones uh, if I um, go back let me go back onto my video I'm doing this kind of a bit back to front here we click back on there and we look at what that figure was on this right hand side where it said SEO Here it comes any moment. Stop playing. <laughs> Off. Stop. <laughs> okay, my SEO here look, is a score of 45. So I'm going to imagine that as percentages. And what that means is, let's assume it's 45. It has a 45% chance of it showing up in somebody's search engine if they're searching for YouTube update. Let me go back into the edit video. Remember this is 45 back into my edit video I'm gonna scroll down to where the tags are and there's not many as I say if you go a little lower once you have been told installed uh, TubeBuddy come on there we go it gives you a few free uh, additions to what you should put in so I'm gonna click on all of them uh, that says YouTube copper uh, made for kids I'm not going to click on that because it's nothing to do with made for kids this but it is how to um, it's, you know, so it's a how to uh, tutorial they've all been saved come back up here to save changes click on that so these are changed now I'm going to go back into my video again on the right hand side all these statistics are going to come up and I'm hoping it's going to say more than 45 because generally it has done stop playing there we go um, there you go now it's jumped to 50 so what I'm finding here the great thing is that I used to get stuck a great deal of thinking oh what can I put into a tag that will sort of show up in my SEO ratings if somebody's typing that in somewhere around the world into Google and I always get stuck you kind of going through the things you've got if you've got a big description you can put little bits out of that pull little bits out of that description to put them in but what YouTube uh, or TubeBuddy does here look it does stuff like that I'm gonna go into this again uh, made for kids no it's got YouTube creators I'm gonna click on that uh, new YouTube audience settings I'm going to click on that and then I am going to oh, I'm going to click on made for kids because what this was actually saying was it was telling you uh, on the update that you now have to tell YouTube whether or not your video is made for kids so that's going to be part of um, this video it's not made for kids but it's telling you that as of 2019 whenever that was you had to put onto each one of your individual videos that it's not made for kids or made for kids if it is here we got save again hit save here we go changes have been saved I'm gonna click back on my video and now let's see if my SEO rating has gone above 50 this will start playing again in a moment I'll turn the volume down I'm waiting for this to open up 55 so that was jumped again so uh, whether this is something that uh, TubeBuddy has built in to make them look good to make you go more and more for um, their channel I don't know but since I've been using this uh, analytic um, uh, tool that's here over the past three four five weeks uh, all it seemed to have done is actually help if I go on to my channel click on my channel um, what it does it gives you an overview of um, what your channel has done 
here on the top this is added in by TubeBuddy total lifetime I've had 41,000 views on just 55 videos it's not bad I don't think on the last 30 days I've had 5.15 thousand views so I've had 5,000 views in the last 30 days that's better than 10% of my overall figure for the past two years so uh, TubeBuddy does seem to be um, helping especially in that regard when it comes down to using the tags and the tags are very important and improving your description is very important so do that uh, the last thing I'm going to show you before I finish this video here you have this little compare stats here which is very handy look views in the last 30 days 5.15 and that obviously matches this here and the other nice little thing there you can click on this and says subscribers in the last 30 days click on that 38 so there we go I have a 10 percent of my overall subscribers in the past 10 in the past 30 days sorry so I'm doing something right so I'm gonna put up more and more videos to try and get my subscription to climb by the way if there's anything about this video that you've enjoyed don't forget you can give me a thumbs up I always like that and if I look this way I can hopefully put in uh, somewhere here my uh, subscribe button asking you to subscribe if I come up with any more uh, interesting features such as this one I'll put them up in the future until then bye for now